Well, good morning, folks. Jamie Watts here for Connecting My Community. And we're here today with my good friend Paul Flato. He is a captain with the Putman County Fire and EMS. And we're going to be talking about some safety stuff in the community this morning. Paul's going to share with us some different projects that he's in the works of doing. And uh, Paul, just tell us a little bit about yourself and then about the programs. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Paul Flato. I am a captain with Putnam County Fire and EMS. Um, I just go out there and do a lot of public education and public relation type stuff dealing with safety and uh, stuff in our community and our schools and elementary, middle school and high schools. Sure. So how long have you been in the, with the fire department? I've actually joined the volunteer fire department in 1993 and in 94 I decided to go to school to actually become a, an EMT. I got hired part time in 94. Went full time in '95, and I've been here since. So it's safe to say that you've been in this long enough. You've been around a few times, and oh, yeah. kind of know what's going on a little I, bit. I I've I've learned so much and seen so many changes over the years, and 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 they're always trying to progress towards safety. Sure, sure. Well, tell us a little bit about. I know you're very passionate about the programs that you do, and about safety and about the public in general. Share with us a little bit about. There's there's been some fatalities this year that, that in Putman County. And, yeah. Um, well, that's a, it's a good question. It's a tough subject to talk about because it does involve uh, fatalities, and those, you know, that's the end of somebody's life. Right. And that's why I think I feel so passionate about it. Um, we've actually had seven fatalities so far this year. Last year at this same time, and I get a daily fatality report. Last year at this time, we're at three fatalities. Really. So. Um, yeah, and I mean, our projected uh, projected fatalities for the end of the year is going to be over, well over 50 if we continue at this rate. Wow. Um, however, this month of March, we've been pretty good. We haven't had any fatalities. The month of February, we had four. Right. So I mean, it was a really, really busy month for rescue um, in that aspect. But um, last year, we had 20 fatalities. The year before, we had 20 fatalities. Okay, so we, right. we're, we're continuing on that trend. However, the 10 of the... 20 fatalities in 2007 were alcohol related. Yeah, definitely. So, and I, we haven't gotten the information about 2008 yet, or excuse me, 2009. Yeah. But uh, indications are that they'll be high as well. Yeah, definitely something that could have been avoided. Right, that's, definitely. That's the sad part about it. Now, before Paul shares with us some of the information about the programs he has, I want to take it just for a moment that this is a series of videos that we're going to be doing with Paul. He's got a lot of good programs that he's working on in the community, and unfortunately there's not enough time to touch on all of those today. There's just, we have very, very little time. So we're going to talk, do kind of a brief overview of these programs, and then we will be back with him throughout the year, and he will be sharing some of the programs that he's doing. If he's got some things that are in the works in the community, we definitely want to bring those to you. So, Paul, in the little bit of time that we do have, share with us some of the programs that you have that, are, that you're doing this year with us. Okay, uh, the, I'll just start off with what we're currently doing. Sure. Uh, we're actually doing a teen driver safety outreach in all the high schools. Okay. Um, this is actually funded by the Florida Department of Transportation. It's a grant that I applied for back in last March, okay. and we're currently administering it. We actually um, are going in and doing high school presentations. Uh, we set up videos and, and, and show different PSAs related to driver safety, wearing your seatbelt, distracted driving. Sure. Um, that's a, a real bad one, yeah. alcohol and speed. Yeah. Um, those are the four major things that we have uh, that, that contribute to auto accidents. So we figure if we can get them in the high school when they start driving, maybe they'll carry on to their, their, their younger uh, driving years. Yeah. And then also um, we have a guest speaker coming in April 7th and 8th to come in at all the high schools, uh, recommended by the Florida Department of Transportation. He talks about the choices that teenagers are faced with on a day-in, day-out basis, trying to get them to make the right decision before that are faced with it. Um, that's going to be not just at Crescent City High School, but you're going all to the high schools. All the high schools. We're going to be going to, uh, we actually have six tasks that we're going to be doing. We're going to go to all three high schools. We're also going to be going to Pinal Baptist Academy. Okay. We're going to the radio station to be interviewed there. And then we're also, um, on the 7th, Wednesday night, we'll be at Duns Creek Baptist Church doing a community event where we can actually share a little bit more about uh, uh, this gentleman's testimony and, and how choices in his life has affected him. Great. Well, we'd like to be there that night. Oh, definitely. Break and get shoot some videos. We can share it with the, the folks in our community. You can right. get on there and check that out, too. Right. So you touched on the um, teen driving. And we talked about, and I talked to you a few weeks ago about, you know, we talked about alcoholism, abuse, and, and teen driving. But 
one that I think that we're all, you know, I myself am guilty of, and I'm ashamed to say this, is the texting and driving issue. I think that seems to be a real problem here lately, doesn't it? You know, it was kind of hypocritical for me as well to go into these schools and talk about distracted driving when it's so easy to pick up your phone yes. when as soon as you get an email or a text message and you think it's so important. Yes. What I've realized is none of those messages have ever changed my life. Right. Um, now they always have the potential to change your life because, or somebody else's that you might run into. So, yes. um, an easy thing that I wind up doing is put my phone on vibrate and setting it somewhere where I couldn't hear it or see it. Yes. Um, and so, I've, and I've actually been able to train myself that it's not that important. I'm trying to trying to teach that to all these uh, high school students as well as yeah. nothing on that text message is going to be that important that you need to. Um, answer it right then. Yeah. So if you think it's going to be that important, pull over and do it. And, do and it's it. actually worse, and I believe, I say worse loosely, however, it's equally as bad as drunk driving, however, because people are doing it more readily. Yeah. I mean, it's so, I mean, not everybody's going to go out there and drink and get behind the wheel, right. but almost everybody has a cell phone. They're going to be talking yeah. and distracted and, and doing stuff. So it's more prevalent than drunk driving. And that's the thing that they don't realize. And I've done it myself. We had this mentality of thinking, well, you know what? I can lay it down. It's okay. I just got to do this one thing. And then before you know it, in a split second, it can change. Exactly. There have, been, there have been so many accidents that, that have shown that three seconds prior to the accident, they were distracted. They were distracted. Exactly. And then we talk about the seat belts. Yes. Um, Good point. If you're going to be distracted, you know, and, and cause somebody to get in a wreck or cause yourself to get in a wreck, yeah. You know, I'm telling you, your best chance, your best last chance is going to be the seatbelt. That seat belt, um, yes. It's unbelievable. All, out of all the fatalities uh, this year in Putnam County, of all, all seven, one of them that we've known of that an occupant protection was available and they, didn't, they did use it. They did use so it. one time out of seven fatalities has been a uh, seatbelt. Now, that what, was do you, one. You know, what are the statistics for seat belts versus people that don't wear them as far as accidents go? Well, yeah. you know, the, it's very, very hard to, to come up with that, but Putnam County, out of all the counties in Florida, we rank first, and, and number one's not good in this one, uh, okay. because the number one out of the 20 county, counties with similar populations to us, under 200,000. Right. Okay, so between 50,000 and one person's to 200,000, we, we rank with 20 other counties. We rank number one in the worst traffic fatalities and injuries yeah. um, in Putnam County last or over the last four years. Yeah. And that's a number that I'm not happy with. Yeah. I mean, we, we, in all the categories they looked at, teen driving, um, aggressive driving, um, seat belt use and stuff like that, we're in single digit numbers compared to our county. The only thing we did good on was pedestrians, right. uh, or excuse me, bicycles and stuff like that because we don't really have the areas that bicycles are riding yeah, along the road. Right, exactly, right. like uh, bigger cities. But right. we rank population wise, we compare Worse than Miami Dade. Ooh, yeah. yes. Got to get work on that. Oh, definitely. So, and that's what these. That's why. That's why we're getting these grants and going out to the yeah. schools and and doing other community events. We're not just in the schools either, Jamie. We are. We're going to the fair this weekend. We're going to be handing out stuff there. Sure. Um, we'll have our PSAs going. We're actually going to be doing uh, grants for next year as well. I'm actually applying for two grants: a seatbelt grant and a distracted driving, impaired driving type grant as well. We'll, we'll go over that too. That's going to be awesome. With the goggles. Awesome. With the goggles, exactly. That's going to be. I've not seen those, but I want to see them because I hear they're wild. Oh, they are. They, 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 it really gives you an appreciation for 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 the impairments that people are. They might not notice that they're. That you know, when you put these vision impairment goggles on, I mean, it really distorts your vision. Yeah. People say, "Well, I've never been that drunk before." But when you're walking and people that have seen you drinking before, they say you act exactly, you act like, exactly that. like that. So your your visual impairment and, and what your brain and, and everything. Yeah. So if you try to shake my hand, sh yeah. shake my hand, yeah. it's like this. Yeah, you're, you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, exactly. Right so yeah. that's that's really something exciting we got coming up, and that's going to be for the entire community. I can't that's wait. That's great. That's yep. great. Well, Paul, with all these programs you've got, I'm sure there's going to be people out there that's going to want to know more or be involved in one of those programs, or like, for example, what you're doing with the schools and, this, and going into the church and doing that. We maybe want to attend those programs. Mm -hmm. What is the best way that they can get a hold of you if they want to know more about something? Well, I, um, I have an email address set up through the county. It's okay. uh, paul.flato at putnam-fl.com, okay. and I'm sure you'll put it on your site. I, will. I'll have um, I also have a Facebook page, but um, um, you can do the Paul, look up the Paul Flato, and you, you'll have the spelling yeah, of that. But I also have the, 
Another thing we'll talk about later is the, my Shibuki, the fire safety clown. Yeah, I want to come um, out. I, I actually update that one with a lot of fire safety stuff and okay. safety stuff in the community and, and, and update people on, you know, hey, we had another fatality, you know, seatbelt saved another one because we had, we had some accidents that seatbelt saved this person's life. And yeah. I'm like, you know, seatbelt's got that. another one. That's awesome. That's it. You know, we got to, we got to show the positives as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Paul, thank you for being here this morning. And thank we you, appreciate Jenny. it. And I appreciate we it. will uh, definitely be out this year to see you again and find out about some of the exciting things that you're doing. I can't wait. So, thank, thank you, you sir. so much. Well, folks, this is Jamie Watts again for Connecting My Community. And take care. We will see you later.